All right, guys, so I'm going to be doing a little protection assessment with a Preza Canario. I think he's roughly a year old. Nice brindle Preza. We used to do a lot of Prezas here, so I'm quite familiar with the breed, and I've done a lot of protection training with a lot of Prezas. A lot of Prezas, they have prey drive, but they don't have insane amounts of prey drive. Of course, there are certainly some Prezas that do have insane amounts of prey drive, but a lot of them you have to kind of come through that reactive aggression, so we'll see what this one's like. He does seem quite social and stable, that's nice. When I see that they're really antisocial, well, I know I'm coming through the reactive aggression, but I always prefer to protection train dogs that are very stable. So he's very good with the handler, he's very stable, he's not dog aggressive or anything like that. These are good dogs generally for protection training. So you're gonna see kind of what I do. I don't play protection. I do not. So like, I know I can probably get this dog to play with me and want to play tug with me and then I can kind of build from there. For me, there's no point to do it um, because ultimately, if he doesn't have a ton of prey drive and I can't open the, the aggression through the prey, then I'm going to come through the reactive aggression. But you guys will see kind of how I go about it and, and what we do. No commands. Go stand there in the middle and do not move. I want you to pretend to be a post and that the dog is just tied to you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly the same as the sister. He's like, oh, no, I shouldn't pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can see he wants to play. Don't move. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, don't say a word to him. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, good boy. Pet him now. Don't say a word to him. Very handler sensitive, so it's kind of getting in between us, figuring out what he actually wants to do. You can see there's some interest, but he's so worried about screwing up that he's like not able to fully engage in the game. Hey, Bobby. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good job. Oh. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some parade drive there. There's not tons, but there is some. And it's really being overwhelmed completely by his concern for the handler. Now when he takes the sleeve, I want you to just praise him, but that's it. Oh, oh, oh. praise. Pet him up a little bit there. Good. All right. And now leave him. Whoa. Yes, good. I'll wait a little bit. Like normally I'll be like, nope. But I can see a ton of it's all just like worry about the handler. He like wants to engage a little bit, but he's super like, oh, ho, ho. yeah. So like there's some prey drive there. There's not like crazy amounts of prey drive. Next thing we'll do is we'll test the reactive aggression. Tighter leash, but don't say anything to him. Tighten up your leash just a bit. Don't say a word to the dog. Good, hold on tight. He's really closed. He doesn't want to open up. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Whoa. Good. Whoa. 
Had him. I'm not sure there if he's even barking at me or the other dog, but I'm still going to reward it. <laughs> yes. Pet him. Praise him. Oh, yeah. Praise him. Say a word to him. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Good. All right. He's done. Take him out of here. That's your typical Pressa. You know, you can see the reactive side of the dog hasn't been opened. He's not like quite familiar with like how to deal with that emotion. You can see the dog had some prey drive, but like there just wasn't enough prey drive to actually do any kind of significant bite work. And the problem with those types of dogs is, yeah, you spend a few sessions and you can build the prey and come through the prey drive and start making some basic bite work and stuff like this. But what'll happen is with a dog like that, the nerves will come up if the decoy does anything abnormal and end up blocking the prey drive anyways. So with a dog like that, I'm gonna come through the reactive side and I'm gonna teach the dog how to come through that reactive emotion, build the arousal through the reactive emotion, then transition into prey instead of trying to build all the prey and then do the reactive side later because I know with a dog like that it's like there's just not that much prey there to work with so it's always going to be a problem of course the handler is also a big problem you can see the dog's like uber sensitive with the handler but I also tested the litter mate and it was like very much the same behavior and this presses for you you know people want to like do the same thing that a herder can do with a presa and for sure some presses can do it but that's your typical presa you know and he's a very stable Preza, from the appearances of the dog anyways, when I saw him for a few minutes, he's like socially stable, he's open, which is why he struggled to come through that reactive aggression. Every Preza I've ever dealt with does have it. And you can see like in the beginning, he was in avoidance. And then from avoidance, he experimented with some active behavior. And of course we rewarded the active behavior and very quickly he was like, okay, that works, I'm going with it. But you could also see like, he was a little bit like, ooh, and he still feels very funny about it. It would take a bunch of sessions to get him super active. I have a whole process where I teach reactive dogs to come through that emotion, push into the prey drive, and then start working actively in prey. But they need to be able to come through that reactive aggression. If they can't come through the reactive aggression, then the dog will be always have like this enormous weakness, this kryptonite. And if the decoy or anything accidentally happens that tricks, trips the reactive aggression, the dog awful, oftentimes will immediately fail to do the work. So I'm not about playing protection. For me, I look at the dog, I see what what did nature give this dog? And I'm gonna work with the best things that nature gave that dog in order to get him to the maximum potential. So that's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm looking for when I test the dog. Now I know what I would have to do if I was to train this dog in protection. All right, so you guys saw the dog. You saw there was definitely some arousal there on the reactive side. For me, with a dog like this, it's very hard to say 100% what the dog will be. Some dogs, you open them up through the reactive side, and because they have a strong nervous system and they do like to win and they like to, to, to compete, that will actually, they'll just blossom and they'll become these really, really powerful, strong dogs. And then some dogs, you do it a few times and you see, okay, this dog really doesn't want to be here. So I don't take too much from the first session. I do like that he got active right away. Within like five, 10 minutes, he was active and he was willing to bark at me. That's actually a big step for a dog like that. But we'll see, you know, progressively over a few sessions, if he's willing to keep coming forward and do more and more every time, or some dogs that's like, listen, I'm just doing enough to get you to go away. I'm not willing to do any more. I'm not willing to progress anymore. And that, if so, that's fine. We're, we're not gonna push that dog in that, doing anything else. But some dogs, you just get them over that initial speed bump of, hey, no, no, it's okay. Like, you know, I know you feel like I'm a threat. When you come forward and you can do something, guess what, I'm gonna go away. And then you, they come from that all the way to, not only do I like, I want him to go away, I actually wanna engage with him. I wanna compete with him. I wanna dominate him. I wanna be actively aggressive towards him. And you kind of unlock that power in the dog and in some dogs it's just not there and it never will be so we'll see with him over a period of time 
uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see him back here again and we'll be able to kind of track his progress a little bit. Okay guys, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, we do have online courses. I have a Protection Foundations course which goes over literally how to bring dogs like this through the reactive aggression and into the prey, or if you have a prey dog, how to train that dog as well. Uh, multiple different dogs, different ages, so you can see how we develop them, and you can learn more about decoy work by taking our Protection Foundations course. Check us out, shieldk9online.com.